Hello. 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 Uh, and welcome to this, which is six dead people uh, talking about what it's like to be dead. Uh, to mark the fact that the lovely people at BBC One are uh, repeating the first series of Ghosts, we thought we'd uh, come on our respective webcams and answer some of the questions that we get asked about what it's like uh, making ghosts and being ghosts. Um, so, I mean, should we just do that? In yeah. a way. Let's just yeah. do that. Uh, okay, who wants to start? Should I start? Yeah, go on. Yeah, no, you can. I've got one here from at one Fiona Clark. Oh mm. my God, I can't believe she's got in contact. Yeah. <laughs> the one and only. That's why there's a one at the beginning. Yeah. He says, what's the story behind each slash main cast, Ghost's death? Will oh. we get to hear more about them like we did with Pat? Well. Who's that question to? I'll oh, ask cool. that to Ben, I think, if I may. Wow. Um, well, we, I'm not going to start telling the, the backstory no. to each guy. Good, I'm, I'm glad I can't you do that. No, no, no. For I can't a moment, do that. I was worried. Um, but in, so if you could not spoil all future series. I won't spoil great. future series. But what I will say is that um, we do find out a little bit more about certain ghosts in season two. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not I'd even going to tell you. There are questions answered, you. but there are also more mysteries. Which is how I like to live yeah. my life. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it's fair <laughs> to say that we certainly won't be uh, telling the backstories of all of the ghosts in the first episode of season two. It's very no. much the plan's always been to. But, but don't let that stop you watching. No, good, but, yeah. you know, because you might get some, right? J J Jimmy's got a question, I think. I've got a question. Is it, is it, can you go to the toilet? <laughs> he put his hand no, up. No, I've just done that. I've already done that. Alice at Bossy Big Eyes <laughs> writes... Which is Matt's nickname. Yeah. This question is to Simon. Ooh. If you could play one of the other ghosts, who would you pick? Oh, well, that's a very good question. Um, I think it would probably be Robin, the caveman, because um, oh, you can know say what? so much. <laughs> I'm a no. In, that wouldn't work for With you. so few love, no. Um, <laughs> well, I always enjoyed playing... Sorry, my dog. My dog wants to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I always like uh, playing uh, the caveman in horrible histories. You know. Yeah. yeah. Did you though? Did you? I, I did. I mean, did you I like the bit in the makeup? Yeah. In, yeah. I was going to say, makeup. I can't see you enjoying three hours of makeup. <laughs> I think Maybe you need to read your answer. I don't remember it bothering back then. It probably did. I probably moaned about yeah. it. I, I remember it, it bothering me. <laughs> do I have to do this? It has always Why? bothered you. Why, Why are there three cavemen? Does anyone else uh, have a ghost, an, an other ghost that they know they would like to play? I'd love to have, I mean, basically me and Ty would do a swap, but I'd love to have done Julian because he, he's just, I like the fact that he's utterly morally bereft. It's really fun to play a character. He's, he's fun to write because you just go, what would be the worst thing a human could do in any situation? And that's probably Julian's point of view on it. It's, it's true. Really yeah. fun. I think, I'd go, I think I'd go for um, Kitty or Pat, someone who's like... Oh, yeah, Pat. get the legs out, Pat! <laughs> get the little knees out, like Pat. But positive <laughs> rather than always, yeah. you know. I mean, right. we're all Pats, right? Yeah. In real life. You are a little Pattiness. Who's got another question? Um, um, well. I've got a question. Okay. Uh, my question is from uh, Abby E. I can't be any more specific. So anyone called Abby who's got a surname beginning with E, this could be you. Uh, very simply, when is season two coming? Ooh. Ooh. I'll put it to the room. It's another one we're not allowed to answer. Are we allowed to I say? Can, say, can, we, no. can we say like, because I went on Talk Sport this morning and basically said mid to late September. <laughs> yeah. Did you say it like that? <laughs> <laughs> right. 
I mean, well, you've said it now. No, I said it. I mean, I've already said it. So, but we don't know exactly. I mean, you just said it. Yeah, you've done it. Oh, you're in trouble. Oh dear. I don't think, unless you know something, we we don't. Uh, I don't think we've been told. I think we can assume it will be after the repeat of series one and before it becomes 2021. Yeah, yeah there yeah. you go. But Jim, I think you might have had a dream. Where after the repeat of series one, but this millennium. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Next. Um, um, Emily Hepting says, yeah. who is the cast member that causes the bloopers behind the scenes? And I'm going to ask that to hmm, Matt, actually. Oh, yeah. Well, the answer is Jim, isn't it? Well, yeah. hang on. I don't know why you're asking me. <laughs> yes. I would argue that, that this year it's actually Simon. What? Yeah. yeah. Of yeah. course, the most. I mean, a certain order. 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 Yeah, there's a there's it's, there's a diff. It's true. She said causes. Right. Yes. Yes. And that is right. So yes. is that the person who makes someone corpse? Where does the blame lie? Because yeah. Jim, Cause I probably corpse into the room. possibly more than anyone. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know if I always cause it. No, Simon's a big causer. Simon and Jim are certainly. High on the causation. I know that I'm. I may do it to the least because the nature of my makeup means I'm normally quite grumpy. It's really interesting watching the blooper. They cut some bloopers together for the series, and all every time it cuts to me, everyone's laughing, and I'm just like stony face pushing bits of foam back. Also, you can't. You don't want to crack any of the glue. No, you might be laughing inside, but your face is going. I'm always You're laughing always. on the inside. You're always. <laughs> okay. Who's next? Ben. Ben can ask once. Yeah, and I and I apologise for this. My internet dropped out uh, at least three times in the last five minutes. Come on, Ben. It's twenty twenty. Uh, uh, well, you'd have thought that my fancy mesh internet mesh system could cope, but it can't. All right. Here's a here's a question. Um, <laughs> Okay. If you've asked this before, stop me. Savannah at For Survival asks, did the ghost ever get to finish Friends? Um, well, that's a good question. They certainly yeah, finished this one. Good question. So it looks like the first three episodes. I think, I think they've, um, they've finished. I think they have. I think they've done the whole set. I think they've done the whole lot. Well, even like series 10. <laughs> I think by now they've probably watched all of it. More than one, and and loads of other series they've they've got. I mean, Alison would have had to find this too, right? Yeah, I think she knew where it was. She just didn't want to give it to them. Mm. I think she, Alison's got the box set. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I honestly, agree, yeah. you used to watch how many when you were hungover, like six. So definitely, they'd have finished them. Yeah, yeah. Well, when I was at university, I just yeah. I'd caught you know I'd eat my way through an entire series after a. A particularly heavy night. <laughs> and I think they've probably um, worked their way through loads of stuff. Right? Yeah. Well, 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 well. That, 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 that coincides with another question, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah. it does. Ooh. Okay. Shevek Fodor, they, them, says, uh, ask the ghost. I love it when the ghost gets into friends. What is uh, what is the ghost's favourite movie, TV series, or period drama? Oh, oh, that is such a good question. Hey, and, it, and it's um, for each of us actually, so uh, we could all quickly answer that. I think um, Julian would enjoy things like the Forsyth saga. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. And um, and good comedies like To the Manor Born. Yes, proper comedies. <laughs> And proper comedies know, with, enjoy, with uh, proper jokes. <laughs> I would probably still enjoy Blue Peter. Oh! <laughs> so Come on, boys, it's starting! Oh! He's oh. oh. <laughs> got a couple of Blue Peter badges, actually. Huh? Yeah. 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 Definitely. As have you, Jim. I have one. Yeah. 
We were talking about this the other day that Thomas would probably be really into um, like trashy American soap operas yeah. or Latin American soap operas. Yeah, he likes the high drama. Really melodramatic, and he, but he would think it was really classy stuff. Hmm. Uh, Robin loves Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> Love Quincy. <laughs> Does he do the theme tune? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Sings a lot. But like on a loop. Like, you know, when a kid gets into a song. <laughs> he's singing. That's the hundredth time in a row he's sung this theme tune to Quincy. I mean, the captain's probably... Relative. Oh, he's working, he's working his way through the... Um, what was the big epic World War Two? Documentary. Yeah. The world was oh, the doc world documentary. World oh yeah. yeah he's worked his way through that. Really no, sick. I think I think uh, is going off to watch the world at war, but watch your sex in the city. He does. Yeah. <laughs> right. He does. That's my yeah, theory. He does. Just been watching uh, World at War. Oh, <laughs> and Lady B. Captain's, uh, Lady, He's Lady B would be a big Downton fan, but <laughs> Secretly, she enjoys the uh, the waterfall scene in cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that is that's something to your but that is funny. Yeah. Um, yeah. Good question. Yeah. Mm. Um, should we do another round of them? Yeah. You bet. You bet. I know. Uh, at Catherine, at Catherine underscore I. We, we don't need to. Re if you had to invite three of the ghosts to a dinner party at your house, which three would you pick and why? And I'm going to ask that to Martha. Definitely have Julian, because he makes me laugh a lot. Mm. Um, oh, I'd have Pat. Also, at any dinner party, there's always someone a bit like Julian, where you go, who invited? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know, but I do find him. <laughs> I'd have, definitely have Pat, because he'd be up for after dinner games. And I love yeah. that. <clears throat> uh, and then I, hmm. Am I? <laughs> what are you cooking? What are you cooking, Martha? Someone wants to come. Well, Lady that B. Wasn't the... No, no, Lady B would cook something totally different to me. It would all be like aspic jelly and stuff. <laughs> you're, no, you're having the, you're choosing you're having the party. I'm choosing them. So you're well, cooking. Well, I'm cooking. Oh, yeah, it's brilliant. Come on over. Yeah, and you're inviting three of the guests. So you could invite Lady Button. Oh, I could, couldn't I? Well, maybe <laughs> I wouldn't see if I could soften her up a bit. Um, but, oh, I'd cook a great meal. Would I put an egg on it, though? That's the question. Well, that's it. <laughs> You've got to that, is another, that is another question we got. That is another question we got. Who asked it? Um... Oh, yes, uh, Keith Mansell. What else could you put an egg on? <laughs> oh, it turns out, it turns out you can put an egg on pretty much anything. Um, that has become a of approval, right? Mm. Yeah, that's become a bit of a byline for us. We use that a lot in the writing process, and and when people improvise something on set, we're like, oh, did you see them filming that last scene? Simon just put an egg on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the oh, equivalent of sort of ringing the TV guide. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you can put an egg on anything, technically. You oh. put an egg on a, on a car. Yeah, but it's more it's more a sense of um putting a putting a fried egg on top of something that's already good and then you put a fried egg on it and you go, even Oh no, yeah, that's, that's even better. That's just a, that's a game changer. Yeah. Like a pizza. Um, there's a great link here into another question from uh, Darina Korvax who says, Does Pat love dogs just as much as Jim? <laughs> Only say that because I think Jim's dog just wandered in to join us. Did one of you dog yeah, he wants to go out. Oh, but... okay. My wife's in the back room and she doesn't want to come in. My what? <laughs> oh. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> the answer? Yeah. He loves that them enough to them. make himself physically sick petting them. Yeah, that's, that. yeah that's what I'd be like. Loves a um, dog. There's quite a good question here. Can I, can I ask this question? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, me, me, Julie's, at me, Julie's 10. <laughs> Does a particular Tory politician inspire mm. uh, Julian, or is it a mixture of a lot of them? It's a mixture of a lot of them, but some of it them is, are in yeah. Labour. There's, there's a lot of Tony Blair. Yeah. 
Mm. Uh, services, services. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> David Cameron. There's a bit of Cameron, but but, yeah. um, um, point. Um, but I think there's also a going back into the early nineties. There's a bit of David Mellor. Oh, Mellor, yeah. Oh. Bit of Hasseltine. Um, bit of Hasseltine. A bit of um, Boris Johnson. Yeah. Boris Johnson's. Um, oh, oh. <laughs> When he gets really excited now, it's like <laughs> he's sure. on the Brexit war. Yeah. Went, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, so that's, just that's being very current. <laughs> yeah, to be really on on the edge of you know current affairs. Kind of a cocktail. He's a cross yeah. party cocktail. Cross a cross party, party cocktail. cocktail. <laughs> and that's the that's the party they have at Christmas. Because <laughs> that's their Christmas drinks party in the communism. You go into the cross party cocktails. So I've got another question. Yes, please. Bet. Erzy Bet. Um, did you have any scrapped ghost characters that didn't fit into the story? Ooh. We did. Yeah, we did. We had loads. Yeah. Well, yeah. There were, because originally it was going to be there were going to be hundreds. It was going to be a house that was absolutely full of them. I remember one riff we went on that was there was going to be a sort of. 60s beat group whose plane crashed over the site yeah, yeah. and that they were narked that they never got to be as big as the Beatles but they would have been yeah yeah oh it would have been I mean well, we had loads well we, we had, had these that couple, couple that couple the, Simon and Martha of, yeah the lead, uh, lead yeah. characters Simon and Martha had these sort of bickering peasant characters. characters and one was it he one had killed her. the other and then yeah. One killed the other to because they were so sick of them, and then, and then they had an accident the next day and died, so that they mm. were then stuck with them forever. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that was the. And we had, um, I think we had two. Well, the German pilots actually made it into the. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's true. First yeah, and they, we yeah. had, um, but we did have an idea. Didn't we have an idea for like a, a downed Spitfire pilot and a downed German pilot, and they just yeah. didn't get on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, but they never identified what they're. But issues. I think that I think that sort of morphed it. That that morphed into the captain, didn't it? So yeah, like, yeah. We're going to have Second World War. We'll, we'll go there. Basically, it comes, though, that, that first... something that would have been so impossible to make it actually gives me a headache. And yeah, then we realised that. And yeah, that was yeah. about. And it just wasn't it was just as good encouraged. an idea in the end because they you're less stuck together if there's oh. hundreds of people because yeah. you can go yeah. and find the people you like. Yeah. yeah, we also had. Do you remember that? And this became Robin in a way. We the wisest ghost was going to be like oh, a five-year-old yeah. child who yeah. had been there for the longest, and so they yeah. developed a kind of mature adult brain and all the wisdom of being there for centuries, but in a child's body. The elder. And then we realised and- you'd have to cast a child. And by the time you film series two, they'd look completely different. I think there was, um, wasn't there an idea that to, to have a druid, some sort of mystical yeah. druid? <laughs> yeah, there were, I mean, there and were. Chef, there was an angry chef as loads. well. An angry chef. Who worked in the kitchen. I think it's funny, yeah, element, elements of a lot of those characters that ended up being facets of the personality yeah. that those we stuck with. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm really glad we didn't do it that first way. Yeah, oh, well, okay. we made it the way we made it. Yeah, for sure. one one more question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. anyone got one there? I like the one. There was one uh, uh, from uh, West End Tier. He says, "How do you film the parts where the ghosts walk through walls?" Larry, that's a great question for you. I've always wanted to know. Go on, Laz. I'll oh. show you what it looks like before they do the effects. <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 the director, we were sort of we we thought and talked a lot about how we were going to do all these effects. And when he first came in to talk to us, I remember him just saying, "I think there's just a way where you literally you walk to the wall and then stand really still, and we can do a really simple transition." And I think we were all a little bit, well, I'm not sure something like that would work. And then he showed us a little test he's just shot at his house uh, on his phone. And it's just perfect, and it's the own. Oh, no. He's going to sneeze. Oh, wow. He's going to oh. sneeze. 
Wait for it. He's going to sneeze. Oh, no. I'll finish. I think he's still going, isn't he? <laughs> he's a bit still sneeze. going. <laughs> still explaining. Uh, the funniest thing about that, actually, uh, uh, actually, uh, walking into the wall yeah. thing, is if you exit the scene quite early and you just have to be standing yeah. facing the wall for the rest of the scene. Larry, you froze um, very... quite a while ago. Right. And it, it was a it was a pretty excellent moment. It was it was a it was a moment like this. I'm going to ask a question. So it's uh, La, uh, Lara asked, <laughs> "Will we find out the captain's name?" Yes, the captain's name is. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that is and a great think, place you know, um, to like end this. Uh, I think that's obvious that, that that's why the, the captain's called. Very cool. Well, Thanks for watching for all your questions. Keep watching the repeats, and maybe we can persuade some of the other cast to come and do this for another episode. Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. yeah. They're pretty Let's difficult. They're try. pretty difficult. Well, I mean, they're awful, but yeah. Yeah. We can ask. Difficult bunch. Tutty bye then. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. bye everyone. Ta ta.